Hey folks, welcome back. Today we're revisiting Wispar due to recent updates to DSM, which have made my previous video outdated. You'll find all the links and Docker run code in the description below. If you find this video useful, be sure to drop a like and subscribe. For those unfamiliar, Wispar is a tool designed to manage and organize metadata for your movies. It's primarily used with media servers like Plex or MB to keep your media library's metadata current and accurate. This tool is specifically geared towards sorting adult-related media. If you're looking to organize your regular movies, you'll want to check out Radar instead. Right, let's dive in. Head over to your Synology server. Click the menu button at the top left and select File Station. On the left-hand side, click Docker. We need to create just one folder here. You can either right-click and select Create Folder, or from the top, press Create and then Create Folder. In the box that appears, enter Wispar. Next, you need to map the data folder, or the container will fail to start. In my case, my media is stored under Data, Media, Movies, Adult. Take a look at how I've set this up your configuration might differ. The highlighted text in my notepad matches my folder structure on my NAS. Just be sure to adjust the data path to where your media is stored. Getting this right is crucial, or you'll run into errors when launching the container. All right, we're done here. Close this window, it's no longer needed. Now, head back to the menu at the top left and click Control Panel. Scroll down to the bottom and click Task Scheduler. From the top menu, click Create Triggered Task, and then User Defined Script. This screen is pretty straightforward. For the task name, you can enter anything you want. I'll go ahead and enter Wispar. Now it's very important to change the user to root, as shown here. Leave the event as default, on boot up. For the pre-task, leave it as is. For the enabled box, untick it. Next, Click on Task Settings from the top menu. We're going to paste our script into the Run command box. Before pressing OK, double-check your paths to ensure they're correct. You can also adjust the time zone if needed. If you're happy with everything, click OK. You'll see a message about modifying system configurations. Press OK to confirm and enter your DSM password. You'll now be back at the main window. Click on the Wispar task we just created, and from the top, press Run. You will be prompted with a box asking if you're sure, press OK. Now close this window. We're done here. We're almost done, folks. Head back into the main menu from the top left, scroll down, and choose Container Manager. Once loaded, click Container on the left. If everything went to plan, you should see Wispar turned on and ready to rumble. If the container isn't there yet, Give it a few minutes. If after five minutes it's still not showing, double check your paths to ensure they're correct. Wispar uses port 6969. Open a new tab in your browser, enter your Synology IP address followed by the port number, and don't forget the colon. You should be greeted with the Create Account screen. Go ahead and fill this in, and you're all set. Enjoy, and I'll see you next time.